our longer run goal continues to be inf an inflation rate of 2%. Our statement emphasizes that our actions to achieve both sides of our dual mandate will be most effective if longer term inflation expectations remain well anchored at 2%. However, if inflation runs below 2% following economic downturns, but never moves above 2% even when the economy is strong, then over time, inflation will average less than 2%. Households and businesses will come to expect this result, meaning that inflation expectations would tend to move below our inflation goal and pull realized inflation down. To prevent this outcome and the adverse dynamics that could ensue, our new statement indicates that we will seek to achieve inflation that averages 2% over time. Therefore, following periods when inflation has running below 2%, appropriate monetary policy will likely aim to achieve inflation moderately above 2% for some time. In seeking to achieve inflation at average percent over time, we are not tying ourselves to a particular mathematical formula that defines the average. Thus, our approach, approach could be viewed as a flexible form of average inflation targeting. Our decisions about appropriate monetary policy will continue to reflect a broad array of considerations and will not be dictated by any formula. <clears throat> of course, if excessive inflationary pressures were to build or inflation expectations were to ratchet above levels consistent with our goal, we would not hesitate to act. 